Hi, Geminis. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a general timeless reading. It's for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, ri Rising, and Venus, and any cross watchers, certainly welcome. We're going to ask Spirit, what does Spirit want you to know today in all areas of your life? Love, career, success, personal growth, um, self-development, healing, anything spirit wants to share with me. So think of it as an almost personal reading. Um, if these types of readings you enjoy, please let me know um, in the comments below. I would love to do more of them. But let's see what your spirit guides have for you today. Spirit, if you can please share with me. This is a fully channeled message. For my Geminis, what messages are meant to be heard? I am listening for you now. Uh, everyone has value. You have value, right? You have worth, you have value. That's something that you're always working on. Your value is very high. Spirit just said, gorgeous. Live your bliss. Be happy. Be happy with or without anybody. Live your day to its fullest. Live your life to its fullest. Focus on the positive. Eliminate the negative from your life. Focus on surrounding yourself with positive people, thinking positively, only looking at good things. I know negative things happen in our lives, but we don't have to focus on them. We can try to look at what's good, stay in a state of gratitude as best we can. And death is an illusion, right? For every ending, there's a new beginning. So when things change, when things are taken away from us, look at it as sometimes as a blessing in disguise also. Let's get one more. They're saying be of service, be of service to yourself, be of service to others. And one more, I want to grab this one. It's saying love your energy. I'm going to say love yourself, love the energy that you throw off into the universe, you know, love the energy that you're able to share with others. I mean, I, I love that. It's just like love your energy. And I feel like you attract everything that you want into your life. You know, it's just, you, you know, it's almost this feeling of my energy attracts everything I could wish for. Um, you know, that's how this works. Um, I, I just feel like, you know what, maybe your energy is super high, <laughs> your vibration super high. That's good. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your comments. Love your energy. I feel like you're attracting all this beautiful stuff to you. So let's see what that is. Let's see what they mean by that. I have a six of swords. Maybe you, you've taken back your power. You walked away from somebody. Eight of cups. Walked away. I walked away from what wasn't serving me. I'm an empress. I'm standing strong. I'm putting putting the past behind me, heartbreak behind me. I've healed. I've, I've, I'm working on myself. I'm loving myself first. So I feel like that all that hard work that you've been putting into yourself is paying off. A Knight of Cups, beautiful. Knight of Cups, a judgment, and a moon. So I feel like I'm finding myself, you know, sometimes through hurt, I hate to say it this way, but through pain, through hurt, we find ourselves, we find our true self, we find, you know, that we're not going to allow anybody to talk to us a certain way anymore, or treat us a certain way that we'll never uh, allow ourselves to be in a certain situation ever again. So I feel like you found yourself through some hurt and that you're in a better place. I'm going to say it that way, that I've got, you know, I'm attracting love into my life. I'm attracting my purpose. I'm, I'm more in alignment. It just came into me. So all of those things are working for you. Yeah. For, for every ending, there's a new beginning. You are a great example of that when something ended, it opened you up to who you really are meant to be, okay? And it could be a very difficult ending. It could have been something that was very upsetting and, and traumatic, so to speak, in your life. But it gave you almost this push of who you are and you loving yourself and you loving your own energy is now attracting everything you wish for um, to you. Okay, and that's how I want you to look at it. It's just your loving energy. It's I, I just want to stay on that for a minute. Let's let's see what love is around you. 
check out your um, playlist for love readings. This is a general reading, so we're going to do a little bit of everything today, but I definitely want to touch on love. I want to see. I have a surprise. Prepare for surprise that challenges and empowers you in equal measure. Maybe spirit has um, that knight of cups is going to turn into somebody that's a romantic surprise coming into your life or something that's coming into your life that just because you feel like you have been waiting for it. Never underestimate the power of a heartfelt apology. You could have somebody reaching out to you, some of you reaching out to you with a, an apology. And that literally would be a surprise. Um, some of you are like, no way, they're never going to apologize. Um, or we have a new doorway opening for love, a new doorway is presenting itself, and it leads you to a new person. So we could have a new surprise that a doorway is opening. And Whoever this apology is, maybe we aren't going there. Maybe we want to see what the, you know, like if this is door A, we want to go to door B, you know. We want to see because Spirit's saying they're bringing you more trust into your life. You've been guarding your heart. You've been, you've been protecting yourself long enough. And right now I feel like it's just a matter of you're ready to open your heart because, you're in a better place. You feel good about yourself. You, I, I feel like your confidence is super high. You are um, loving life, spirit said, and I guess just doing a really great job in other areas of your life. So let's see what they're saying with this new door. I have a five of wands, getting rid of the battle. I've got a, a chariot. I have a two of swords. Time for you to decide what you want. I have a star. I feel like you're going to walk towards a new door. I want you to trust that whatever spirit has for you, that you're not going backwards. You're not, if you have a choice between the past and the future right now, or somebody new coming in and somebody still knocking on your door, I'm going to say that you're going to choose wisely. You're going to choose towards, I deserve more. And I'm being guided by all this loving energy. And I just feel like I'm attracting more love. I'm going to say it that way. I'm attracting more love. I'm attracting some honesty coming in, somebody with true feelings. I am attracting somebody I could be very happy with for a long period of time with this Ten of Cups. And thank you, Spirit. I am attracting a soulmate energy. So there's definitely something going on here. You know, it is all about energy. It's all about vibration. And spirit is letting you know that the higher your vibration, you know, the, the, the more that you attract towards you. And you've been, you've been working on that. You must be trying to lift your self-esteem, gain more confidence. Doing all of those types of things are paying off for you. Let's see what else they have for you today. I need some jumpers here. Let's get, let's, I got too many jumpers. Let's do this again. That was like five, like six or seven cards. Let's do a couple of these. Let's see. I have, it's okay not to have all the answers. They will come to you when you need them. So sometimes we just say it's, it's okay, right? That everything's going to happen for a reason or whatever's meant to be will be. And we don't pressure what's going to happen next. We don't put a lot of pressure on you know, I didn't get what I wanted, you know, that none of those things are going to help you. We're just going to stay positive and focus. There's still time to change the road that you're on. It's never too late. You always have a choice. You know, there's going to be a lot of forks in the road in your lifetime. I feel like you've already made a big decision and that big decision made you more powerful or gave you strength that you have today. We all have forks in the road and we are always every day making choices and in, in, um, either choices to stay on the path that we want or to make a change to change a new path. But you will always have that choice. True love will find you in the end. So we have this soulmate energy coming. We have like the universe is at work energy around you. Beautiful. Don't let people suck the air out of your spirit. I feel like you're really getting smarter with pushing people away. You know, the person who 
doesn't serve you anymore or it's just negative or it's just high trauma in your life you know i feel like you've gained back some strength some power um it's almost like a superpower that you have is your is your loving energy is how it just came in so right now don't let anybody take that away from you all right don't let anybody burst your bubble so to speak all right you you deserve more to rise, you must let go of fear. You just let go of whatever isn't going to benefit you, right? You know, you push it away. You you ignore the person who tries to knock you down. You know, the person who says something to you that they just say it out of jealousy or spite or anger or resentment. And, you know, you just focus on yourself. Like, yes, words can hurt you, but they can't they can't destroy you and you can always walk away, you know? So you always have the power to say no is how it's coming into me. So maybe there's something specific that they want you to walk away from or someone specific that they want you to walk away from at this point. Let's see what else they're saying. I have an eight of swords. Nothing should be holding you back. Don't let anybody hold you back this kind of waiting, if you're waiting for somebody and you've been waiting a long time, you know, a little bit of a feeling of take back your power, don't let them make you miserable, like time to move on, time to make a decision that I'm going to, you know, put myself first. And the first person I'm going to give to is myself, I'm going to be generous to myself, whether it's your time, your love, caring, taking care of yourself. So if you feel like you've been waiting around for somebody, I would say maybe that's what spirit is saying. Like that energy isn't serving you anymore. OK, it's time for a change. It's time for, you know, a little bit of a moving on in a situation. OK, something like that. King of Pentacles, that's their strength and independence. There's the feeling of I've got to make, I've got to move on from something that doesn't work anymore, all right? I've got to move towards something that's better for me. So right now, I feel like Spirit's asking you to take care of yourself first. Here's my Empress. It's like, take care of yourself first. Nurture yourself first. What is best for you and where are you headed next? So they're saying you've got some abundance coming your way with this Ace of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles. So you have this great ability to take care of yourself and be independent and be secure. So it doesn't mean that you are relying on someone else. Let's see what they're saying with this, this Ace of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What is this feeling of abundance around us right now? What is it that you have for us? What is it you want us to think about? on the table uh time to put your demands on the table there you go get serious about what you want okay whether it's in a personal relationship or at work all right a little bit of a i'm my, i know my worth i know what i'm capable of of um receiving whether it's an, i'm negotiating money for a job or how much i get paid or how i'm treated at work um a little bit of i deserve more and i'm going to stand up for myself and i feel like you are getting stronger and stronger with that expressing yourself you need work that lets you express your creative self is there something that you'd like to be doing? Is there something that you, you artistic or um, writing or music or um, doing something like I do, being a spiritual guide, you know, communicating? Um, is there something that you'd like to be doing that spirit is saying, maybe we should look at that and you should be doing more of that or moving in that direction? Oh, my hands just tingled for some of you. Flexibility. You'll need, need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes. While it seems extreme, just hang in there. This too shall pass. Sometimes change is hard. And a lot of, of us will stay in the same place for a long time because it's the fear of the unknown. And if they're saying that if you break it into little pieces and you're more flexible, you can make whatever changes in your life that you want. You can make any necessary changes that you need to over a period of time. OK, so what is it that's most important to you? Looking at things from a new perspective and an offering 
Let's do these one at a time. If you change the way you look at things, you will see everything in a brand new light. I really feel like that is more in connection here with my Empress, okay? This feeling of um, you'll get to where you want to be, okay? You might not be where you want to be today, but you're on your way there. And it's because you have a higher energy. It's like the new love that you're bringing into yourself, the new way that you're talking to yourself, the new way you treat yourself, you're attracting new things into your life, whether it's an, a relationship, whether it's abundance, whether it's doing a better job at work, whether it's how you look or feel about yourself. It's, it's, it's this change within you so that you get to where you want to be. So sometimes we just have to look at it as, how do I get there? How do I get there? Because big changes are not easy. Big changes take time. And you have to break them down into little pieces sometimes. I have offerings. You will be offered a new position or an opportunity. Think about it. Research it before accepting it. So maybe we do have a new offer for some of you. You could be um, thinking, you know, that I want to try something new. I want to change my field. I want to change jobs. I want to, I want to start a job. I want to start a business. Like what is it that you're looking to do? So right now I'm going to say you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. Um, as long as you keep putting that loving energy out into the world, I feel like you're being rewarded. Let's see what they want you to surrender to. Let's see what they want you to be thinking about right now. We, we want to always be, um, you know, working on things that we should be working on as well. Let's see what we have. Surrender your belief in scarcity, okay? If you struggle with I'll never have enough, ask the universe, okay, to open up open you up to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams, whatever it is that's important to you, right? So right now, I feel like the biggest message is that you are attracting, okay? You are attracting the life that you want and desire, and I want you to think of it as you're an attractor, okay? You're a magnet, a magnet for abundance and a magnet for love, a, mag a magnet for, for the life that you wish for and everything that you're wishing for. So I want you to think along those lines moving forward. Let's put this out into the universe. How beautiful. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.